Good, getting internet. And yes, I did actually remember what I was going to do between videos. It was update that up there. Um, so that's actually the um, art book version of Al Has Read. And by the way, I should mention the full explanation of Al Has Read. Um, Al Has Read in the um, very, 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 very racist uh, H.P. Lovecraft verse is the author of the Necronomicon. So that's the reference right up there. And they mistranslated it. Anyway, so last we left off, we're going to def defeat the final boss, right? Something like that. But first, I'm going to go back to um, Adelaide and donate 20,000 Gela. Let's speed this up a little bit. Also, get into a random battle so I can show you what the enemy was like. Those aren't the enemies. That's a normal enemy. Maybe they're just not going to show up. Oh well. Thing about the status effects in Wild Arms, I wanted to mention this. Um, if I hadn't already said it, I could get an internet. Uh, it's the fact that Wild Arms 1 is the only one that really uses the status effects independently of each other, where you actually get hit by one status effect at a time. The other Wild Arms games tend to hit you with the entire set of status effects all at once, even if it keeps the same statuses. Uh, I don't think this is a threat for some strange reason. Go to the Adelaide Restoration Committee and donate all of our hard-earned money again. Oh, I actually can't donate right now. Well, if I would have known that, I wouldn't... You know what? It's going to be faster for me to load. Because where I want to go is Quartz I Am, so I can buy some rings. Come on. Okay, let's start this all over. Ah, I unplugged my headphone. There we go. All right, let's get some rings. Let's go get our daily rings. All right, we've got Holy and Demon. I'm going to hold off on Thunder as long as I can. Buy the others. Yeah, let's just buy all of them. Okay. All right, we've got one of each ring now. Which is good. Um, Armsmeister. Let's improve some arms. By the way, have I mentioned how long Wild Arms actually is? It's not exactly a short game. thing you can't hear the airplane going overhead right now. Let's check up on our item supply before we head out. 
I think we just need like one or two things and that's about it. But it's probably going to be a while before we get a chance to do much of anything else. We'll just put it that way. Uh, you know what? <laughs> okay, that'll do. Now let's head out to the photosphere, I guess. And also give Scritches this soon. Yep, totally the end of the game, I swear. Strong can handle this dreaded thing. Watch out for the shield boundaries. If any part of your body touches the shield, you'll lose it. Hey, okay, we get the message. You're really enjoying this, aren't you? Okay, princess, do your thing. Tell the guy to neutralize the defenses. They are not tools, Jack. Please, Earth Column, will you help us? And Asgard uses his power for the first time. Boing, 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 boing. This is fantastic. This is powerful, all right. I say the anti-facing shield's a defensive weapon. Let's get inside this thing. The enemy won't stay quiet for much longer. Yep. Invasion on the demon base. You know, this is going to go great. Welcome to Mother's Theme. So, new shtick. Those things blow up and it removes some anti-personnel things. And yes, the music actually is quiet here. Oh, it's cybergeists and vampires. You remember those, right? They're not exactly hard anymore. I mean, Cybergeist as regular enemies are not that easy, but still. Oh, I just dawned on me. I oh, that's right. It was a preemptive strike. Never mind. I was about to say, I left the vampires injured. That was a terrible idea. And I think that kills him dead. Yep. lot of XP though. I wonder if they forgot to pallet swap or something? No treasure chests. Got it. Yeah, this is what the Demon Fortress looks like. Looks very mechanical. Could remind you of a couple of other video games, like for instance if you've played Final Fantasy VI. Now these are more like the enemies I was expecting to see. The Mexquito and the Nightmare. Seriously, Mexquito. Mexquito. And Nightmare. Um, do they have any loot? Mexquito. Magic Garret. Nightmare. Nothing. I think they're weak against Drake. Nightmares go first, apparently. Squidos have a lot of hit points. Let's say it's like 1400 or something like that. No, 1100. Okay. Weak against Holy. They can cast Valkyrie. Great. Well, that sucked. Sleep. Ah. Uh... Bang. Bye. Okay. 
did. That worked. I think I can still skate through that. Nope, I can't. Not going that way, that's for sure. A wizard! I bet they're going to use magic. Thirty-one thousand hit points, quick against holy, and has gobs of magic. Well, it's dead. I left the vampires alive intentionally because they can't blood drain me like that. Yeah, these are definitely old enemies. They're doing like twenty damage. We're dead. And you're going to life drain for the 325, aren't you? No, oh, just half of it. A little over half, now that I think about it. That's a lot of money, those magicians. Sets of two. Now I can actually show you what Blast Charge ends up looking like. How do I even need that? Yeah, Blast Charge! But yeah, it's based off of distance from the target, hence why. Oh no, it looks like everybody else took the same amount of damage. Hmm. It's supposed to be based off of distance from the target. Good, neither one of them life drained. Oh, I could have had Cecilia Holy. Saint, excuse me. That's fine. Cecilia did still kill them. Mission accomplished. The notice that Cecilia is not doing the booty wiggle as often anymore. Over here, I will find out though. Preemptive strike, okay. Oh, yeah, what can I steal from wizards? Wizard magic carrot, of course, that would make sense. Quick store, my magic carrot, not yours. Why did Trickster do so little damage? It did less than Cecilia's attack. Trickster hitting their magic resistance? I guess that makes sense. Just not something I thought about before. Hmm. You're dead. Hmm. Trickster has got to be hitting magic resistance then. That's nice. Loot! Potion Mary. Potion Mary. Random encounter.
I have no idea what that noise is. Not being picked up on the microphone easily. And you're gonna life drain me for nothing. You know why? Because I didn't actually hurt you. This time I'll remember to do this this way. Holy. And punch the other one in the face. Man, I wish I had two more talismans. Because that's probably the um, left handed item I would use on every character for most of the time. Herk! Take 4,000 damage. Yeah, you deserve that booty wiggle. Full revive. Remember, rule of thumb, it's never a good sign when the game gives you a full revive. Plus, that reflex is like one of the last shields Rudy gets. Something feels weird about this. Two wizards and ambushed. Well, you missed the... Oh, you're casting darkness. Good to know. Just hit Rudy for four. Four. Why not you heal blade yourself? Kill ya. Bunch of wizard. Rudy. Bunch of vampire. Blade. Yes, Jack, you needed some bad blade. And that didn't kill anyone. Vampires must have 500 hit points. I thought they had more than that, or less than that. Oh, no kill like overkill, right? Yep. Definitely no kill like overkill. Yeah, the rings are my only method of accessing tier 2 attack magic right now, which is nice. You dealt over 4,000 damage that time. Yeah. Yeah, do the dance. Yeah, I'm fine. Um, oh, okay. I did go the right way. Good. Like, I thought I had to do this in this order. I was right. Uh, so many random encounters here. So at about this point of the game, my dad actually stopped playing with um, any console RPG. Uh, Wild Arms and Beyond the Beyond were the last ones that we actually played together. And Beyond the Beyond, he didn't last that long. He did play some of it with me. He didn't like Wild Arms because he didn't like the music. Which, weird to me. I love the music of Wild Arms.
Speaking of duckies. Um, Wild Arms actually is one of the best soundtracks in any game in my mind. It's a little repetitive, I will give them, give them that. But that's mostly because I didn't have enough space left on the disc to store anything else at the time. CD, where the music's over half the disc, after all. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so basically at this part of the game and beyond, I played by myself. Rather than what I used to do, which was play with my father. Kind of made me sad at the time. The 1997 would have been when I played this, so I would have been 13, 14 ish. We'll admit, here in 2019, the random encounters bothered me quite a bit. Back, go after a vampire. Still, you late. So, yourself. Rudy, attack the Cybergeist. And... Because Jack can one-shot the vampires, that makes sense to do. Now Cecilia can one-shot vampires. And I think Rudy also can one-shot vampires. Nope. Nope. Oceanberry? Party Apple. has more vitality than Rudy right now. Can't let that stand, now can we? Alright, now that the security system's off, loot another hardy apple. That's weird. They're usually in sets. There, now they have the same vitality. Can't use tools while climbing. That's not the tool I wanted to have equipped. Yes, there's loot on this level. There was something weird about the spotlights. I remember what now. Oh yeah, the jack lanterns. Jack lantern. I know it was because I ran out of characters, but Jack Lantern, really? I can steal holy symbols from them. It means they curse? I think these might be the only enemies in the game that just curse. I'm going to assume that they're weak against holy, but I want to analyze them anyway. Level 30, 800 hit points, weak against evil. Good to know. You have high blast? Not high blast. And you're flashing me. <sighs> Spontaneous combustion! Some of these attacks are just weird. They're weak against evil, huh? Spontaneous combustion! They really want to make Cecilia explode, don't they? What? Has more magic resistance than the vampires do, that's for sure. Cecilia leveled up again, which is good. She really needed to catch up on level. She's now only one behind Jack, okay. Also, let's heal up a little bit. So, um, something I wanted to mention. Uh, you'll notice that I'm not losing magic on Cecilia anywhere near as fast as I used to. Mostly because I'm not using her magic as often. That's because I'm using Mystic for everything. Um, unfortunately, it means having to pay attention more in the first round of combat. Not going that way yet. The teardrop is this way. What's the matter? Don't you want it? But you expect this to just follow you? Yeah, right. 
First of all, who the hell are you? What do you want? You're afraid, aren't you? Me? Afraid? The one who does not have the courage to look at the truth is called a coward. A coward is afraid. All right then, I'll follow you. Photosphere is being prepped for travel. Hurry up and follow me. So there's a blue robed figure uh, uh, helping us? Helping, asterisk? And we're back to the Mexquito Nightmare. I don't know if Mexquito was weak against now. But I'm gonna assume the Nightmare is probably weak against living. Actually, come to think of it, yeah. Yep, that didn't survive, that's for sure. Well, I guess we're gonna remember what the Mexquito is weak against. Spark. Holy. Okay. It's also weak against getting critically hit by Rudy. A lot of things are. So yeah, anyway, um, the... Okay. Tell you the truth. We share a common goal. I have no intention of fighting you people. I need your assistance. We must destroy Mother before the Mother uh, Photosphere burns away all of Fulgaia. Someone wants us to go after Mother. Which is interesting. I'm totally going the wrong way intentionally, of course, because... Twin Orbs! Now, I could go back to an Armsmeister and level up Twin Orbs right now. And I'm tempted to do so because Twin Orbs is a pretty awesome one. So, um... Oh, what was I saying? Oh, um, the reason why I've adjusted my style is that it gives me a lot more longevity. So when I was playing through the game the first couple of times, I would have to run away because I would constantly run out of magic on Cecilia and Jack. And I'm still running out of magic on Jack sometimes, but it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be. Cecilia, on the other hand, I'm pretty much never running out of magic. When was the last time I had to use a uh, magic carrot? Anyway, um, Rudy's Twin Orbs work a lot like Jack's uh, Slash Rave, only, well, Twin Arms has more ammo. So each ATP gets multiplied really fast. Twin Arms is actually the first attack ability in the game that you can hit 9999 damage on. And not even that hard to hit. Uh... Yep, doing it. We've only been going a half an hour. I can get back pretty easily. Most of it's just puzzle stuff, and I've already done all the puzzle stuff. That will remain. That's what the photosphere looks like, by the way. So apparently Mother's plan is to literally just burn Filgaia to a crisp. Huh? So we're going to go to the Armsmeister and upgrade Twin Orbs a lot. So the first thing I want, let's see, I want more than 5 ammo. I, 10 tends to be the maximum ammo that I ever need for pretty much any weapon. So there's not much of a reason for me to upgrade beyond 10 in my mind. Just got an email of some variety. Yeah, if you can't tell, tablet is actually what the um, camera's lying on right now. No, oh, it's a go back to rest.
There we go. Yep, I'm not going to spend that much money on it. Okay, and that will be all that I will do for now. Go to an arms master, repair, or refill back up. Might as well sleep while we're at it. Then head out. Definitely need luck on Rudy and Jack now. Cecilia is less of a problem. All right, let's save over where we were and then head back in again. Which should not take a half an hour to go through this time. Save over the same spot because we haven't really done anything. Other than level up, of course. I should say, we have done things, it's just we haven't done anything um, drastic, I guess. Or, we haven't done anything that's... No, we have done things that have furthered the plot. But there's no reason for me to need that previous save, basically. Otis here. Probably need a shave. Hey, hey look, we're back where we were. It doesn't take much. All right, these are weak against evil. Which honestly, there's not actually that much in the game that's weak against evil. Spontaneous combustion! Definitely a magic attack. Definitely a physical attack. Ah, just picking on poor Cecilia. We all still alive. Did not expect that. Uh, yeah. That's evil things up. That's the most, at uh, least damaged one. And go attack that one. Fine, be that way. And that one's dead. Zoom. Zoom. And gain the holy symbol. Ooh. Okay. Now we're back where we were. Nightmare actually lived. Gravity gas. I didn't even see what that did. I shouldn't have been fading up. It looks like it actually just canceled out everybody else's turns. Which is weird. Lots of climbing of stairs for little reason. Notice sure didn't look that tall. much stair climbing. I should probably just be using Rudy's skates for this.
Oh yeah, I should um, re-equip the what you call it, um, talisman on Rudy. A magic carrot. All right. Nothing. Got on wood. Hurts. Mother's heirloom. Warm light. I'm so relieved. That's right, it's the teardrop. Cool teardrop acquired. We finally got it back. Photosphere and mother's and mother derive their powers from the teardrop. Now that the power is down, you can attack the mother. This is your one and only chance, humans. This is as far as I go. Can you figure out who that is? By the way, we've met that person. You do not destroy mother now, your world will suffer the same fate as mine. So here's your first clue, it's somebody who was from Hyades. And we've met six people from Hyades. Six. Yes, six. We've met six people from Hyades and one of them's dead. Well, seven if you count Mother herself, but uh, let's be honest, that blue robed figure is not Mother. So. Six people from Hyades, one's dead, so it's one of the five. Who destroyed his planet? Yeah, I couldn't care less. We've been dancing in that guy's court all this time. Might as well dance the last song. Let's go for it. Uh, is it actually over here? Was that at? See, it's much easier when you use the skates to go downstairs. Only one encounter instead of like five. Take it. The nightmare's gotta have 500 hit points. You cast sleep. You bastard. Time to speed up, because it's going to be a while. Yeah, go attack and attack Rudy. He heals himself. Oh, Jack's awake. Wait, nightmare go away. Oh, you're dead. I remember when my father played, the only time he ever used magic 
was if um I think this is the way we need to go. Uh, the only time he ever used magic is for healing. He never used it for anything else. Never understood why. Should have preemptively cast the arm. Oh well. Gonna be dead on my turn. Didn't really hurt. Death did. Rudy leveled up. Yay, Rudy. I'm gonna get tired. There we go. He is safe. 42 minutes? Yeah, we're gonna finish the photosphere. Nobody's even injured. All right, these are the spotlights I was thinking of. You get into a random encounter, I want to say, if you hit the lights. All of that for a revive fruit. I... I think it's random encounter and you end up going back to the start. Well, easy way to find out. And save state, save state. Yes, my, we'll see. Yep, jack o' lanterns. Flash me all you want. I don't care. Spark him. Oh no, not my ability to parry. Ah. Perk. I gained a holy symbol, which is what you use to cure a different status effect. Yep, it brings you back to the beginning. Okay. Yeah. Actually. Okay, yes, there are things here. There. No other things here. So at this point, it's just a maze. Long time no see. Lolitha. Oh, by the way, Lolitha's awake. Have you forgot? It has been a thousand years. Yep. Bum, 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 bum. 
All right, first thing, let's get rid of Holy Ring and go back to Hardguard. Yeah, Hardguard. Slash Rave. Remember how this battle goes. Punch the face. Four. Eh, not too bad. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is absolute zero. Oh, it's freezing based. Okay, good to know. Ow! Are you actually weak against fire? Be nice if you were. Also, twin orb time. Seven hits that time. Much better. If you're weak against fire, there's a really easy way of handling this. You are weak against fire. Aw, isn't that cute? Old sleep. Oh, that puts people to sleep. I didn't realize that Lilitha could put people to sleep. This is Twin Orbs. It only triggered twice. That was kind of bad. All right. There are no items in the game that revive from sleep, or that cure sleep, by the way. Doesn't exist. more sense for you to call us when equipped. Uh, actually, no. We're going to have Rudy... Ooh, his luck dropped a good. I didn't even notice. That might explain why he's having problems with good orbs. Rudy, you're going to equip the Flame Ring. Jack, you're going to equip the Talisman. You're going to heal Blade Cecilia. Rudy, you're just going to punch in the face. There's going to be a lot of punching in the face. I'm probably going to rage Rudy once Cecilia is so... Heal Blade cures status effects? I did not know that. Well. Um, I am going to... Accelerator Heal Blade Jack. Celia, you're going to Mystic Potion Berry. Rudy, you're punching in the face. Yep, okay. Got that off in time. Probably should have healed Rudy then, but eh. Oh well. Rudy should be fine at 1460. Old sleep. And I still haven't had a chance to recast... Uh, on the plus side, the correct person is awake. Awaken! So, Heal Blade Cure status effects. That makes it even better. And I think I may have known that at one point, but I forgot. Thank you. All right. We're going to Heal Blade Rudy. We're going to cast Rage on Rudy. Rudy is using Protector. This should work. Hold sleep. Ah, Cecilia is probably going to healing duty at this point. Sonic Vision. Cecilia, Mystic, Potion Berry. Keep everybody up. Punk. Wait! You shouldn't have gotten that off so easily! 
Well, Celia lived, that's the important part, but um, we shouldn't have gotten off so fast. Only 664, really? And it made Cecilia lose her turn? Doesn't sound right at all. I'm just Mega Fairy, actually. Oh, Cecilia should be back up on her feet. Enough to be able to take on one hit. Rudy's faster than Cecilia now, because of course... Uh, Jack might be in trouble? Yep. Jack was in trouble. Thought I was regenerating fast enough, but apparently not. But I've got a revive spell. It's not that big of a deal. As long as Rudy doesn't kill off uh, Lolitha this turn, I should be fine. Nope. Rudy's working back up again. Cecilia revives Jack. Jack's still regenerating hit points, so that's not that big of a deal. Heal Blade himself. You know what, Rudy? I'm actually going to unequip the Flame Ring from you. Mm. Might as well just wear Reflex. Jack's still heal blading himself. I'm going to mystic the flame ring. Get a high flame going on. Oh, now you crit. I did more damage than the flame ring version. All right. I think that did about the same amount of damage as actual flame. Okay. Heal Blade. Cecilia. Cecilia. You're gonna Mystic a Potion Berry. Can't even see how much damage it dealt. Rumble. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have raged Rudy. I would have thought that the, um, what should call it, Flame Ring would have been enough, but apparently not? Yeah, he tried to attack Rudy. That was foolish of you. Oh, you're dead. Meh. Oh yeah, I should have checked to see if Lolith actually had it. Lolith actually did have an item on it. Did not expect that. Oh well, I guess I'm not getting a Mega Berry. Not that big of a deal. Mega berries are rare. Very rare, but with golems on their side. Then only act according to what the user wants. The golem probably got reprogrammed. We're different. We can't be repro lies. Okay. Uh, we're going back to Hard Guard. You're going to go back to Talisman. Wish I could have more than one of those equipped at a time. That would have been really nice. I ain't seen. I'll give you your spot back. Okay. Really is in. All right. We are almost done. Yep. I'm pretty sure this is the point that I need to use a heal berry. Um, you know what? I'm going to be extra cautious. There are strange cold vibrations coming from ahead. Dive in anyway? It's the, by the way, this is a point of no return message. Let's go. Strong jolt. The photosphere must be on the move. How do we drain the power from this place? All right. It's time. That's right, we're here. That sound effect count sounds like it came from XCOM. I am Mother, Queen of the Demon Race. I have brought countless star systems to an end, each full of life. I am the messenger of death. Beings of life, 
Do you come to me for judgment? Do you seek the glory of being devoured by a being of such eminence? Yep. There's mother. And no, uh, mother does not symbolize my personal mother or anything. That's just unrelated. Oh, I forgot to heal up Rudy's luck. Uh, if I remember right, Mother is actually not weak against anything. Oh, sorry, let's see. Um, protect Jack. Really, I see. Really, you can go this. Okay. Left rave. Two, three, four, five. Five's pretty good. Protect. Jack is protect. Bonk. 500 damage on a melee attack. Man, yeah, no. I dealt six damage to it. Mother has a lot of defense. One, three, four hundred and eighty to Rudy. <sighs> Saint, see, not less or more damage. Admittedly, Saint is still a pretty awesome spell. Continue slash raving. down. Lock on Twin Orb. Four. Four. You're going to drop defense. Yes! Thank you! Ice Magma! Oh boy. Silence on the two people who it matters on. Two hits, that's it. I well, it rose, right? Yeah. You know what? I'm actually going to use the Masanga for the first time. Really, as soon? You're trying to be cute. I know. Rose. Arm lock on twin orbs. Oh, 19 on a crit. A little on the low side. More silence. Still two? Uh, Hermes Torres Megados! Yep, paralysis and damage. Because why not do multiple things at once? Well, at least now I know that Heal Blade cures that, so that's nowhere near as bad. I am going to make Twin Orbs work for me. But at this rate, I'm wondering if I just wasted my money and I should just ignore Twin Orbs entirely. Hey, soon. I can't see the screen when you're there. Ah, silly kitty. That's better. Much better. See what I mean by it could do crap tons of damage? You got to Harlow? Oh. Sonic Vision. I'm gonna throw out a Mystic Potion Berry just to keep hit points up. No, I'm not. I'm gonna do
Saint. Saint is such a good ability. Humans cannot do this. That's right. We defeated Mother. That's the final boss, right? Remember when we're done with the game? How terrible. Humans defeating the defeater. No, no, no. Yes, beauty strikes my thought for the last time. This is the ultimate beauty I can experience. The scattering of self. Everything returns to nothing. Light returns to darkness. <laughs> the photosphere has fallen into the sea. That shock was from the sphere losing control after we let go. The wind can stop the sphere from sinking now. Gotta get the hell out of here! Humans, you are part of this journey to the depth of darkness. Enjoy the trip as I'm enjoying the poetry of the ending theme. We are heading straight to the bottom of the inner sea. Photosphere is unstoppable. I don't want any part of this. What are you doing here? Captain Bark Mc Captain Bark, McDullen, Pedal Pants. Hurry, or they'll help me hell to pay. This thing came down from the skies. There's water seeping in from everywhere. Let's get back to sweet candy. I don't want to be fish food. No idea where Bart came from, to be honest. Ah, I soon. All right, we're back on the pedo candy. Thought we were goners for sure that time. I was the one who suggested we followed that big ball. Time I started feeling appreciated around here. You were worried about Rudy. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I thought he might. No, 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 no. Where'd you get that idea? That. Did they say a look is worth a thousand words? So there's apparently more background information about McDullen, by the way. McDullen actually killed Jane's mother. Boss has, the boss has been defeated, and the princess has what she was looking for. Let's party! Not with you, Petto Pants. Finally, I was able to complete my destiny as a princess. Without you guys, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Thanks, everyone. I have some unfinished business to attend to. Fitting Mother was not my objective. Jack Van Brace's journey is not over until he overcomes his past affair. Why are you referring to yourself in the third person, Jack? But, <laughs> you're right, it's not over. Yep. All of them. <laughs> Don't forget about us. And, yep. That means that the blue cloaked figure is Siegfried. Siegfried's the one that saved us. And Siegfried wanted to take Mother out. Siegfried is a very interesting character. Like I said before, he's not just two-dimensional. Who the hell are you guys? I never gave permission to come aboard. Shut up, pants. It's a warning and a declaration. We will take Bogaya. We will completely destroy your the Guardians and take away your source of power. That will be the end of the human race. They each have their own ways of disappearing, and they're consistent, too. Enough of these guys. Let's attack them. Don't you agree, princess? They're determined to rule the world. Let's go back to Adelaide. We have to plan our next move. Yep. A few days pass. If I remember correctly, the entire game takes place over the course of one year. Glad council room. Yep, Emma's giving council briefings now. Yes, of course she is. Good, everyone's here. What do you want? Why have you summoned us like this? We were attacked by some demons today. We have to return the favor. I know. Uh, okay. From what I've heard, from what I've heard, it sounds like the enemy is stepping up their plans. The total, uh, the total annihilate. The total annihilation of life on Phil Gaia and the complete destruction of the Guardian's power. 
You must keep them from getting the upper hand. This is why I formed the EIA, the Emma Intelligence Agency. That sounds extremely self-absorbed. Cecilia, Rudy, and Jack will be our main reconnaissance team. The captain will provide transportation within the inner sea. Your job is to gather as much intelligence on the enemy as possible. To win the war, we must win the information battle. Any questions? No, let's get to work. What are you going to do, Professor Emma? Director of the EIA. We'll back you up as Armsmeister. Also, I'd like to study Japet's journal on the Metal Bird. Something interesting in this book? A thousand years ago, the ability to fly was a reality. There are some interesting theories on flight in this book. I'd like to study it. Can I borrow it? Promise I won't write in it. Hand it over, Metal Bird. Wow, that's really inspiring. Well, we've got the teardrop back. No need for you to travel anymore, Princess. Really, Jack? I, on the other hand, have some unfinished business to attend to. Uh, yeah, revenge, right? Uh, I, I can't stop now. Something happened to, to, to me during our travels. I don't know exactly what, but I feel like I have to stay with you guys. Probably because I'm one of the three main characters of this game. And, you know, reasons. Rudy, please take me with you. Uh, yeah, duh. I'm not going to say no to that. Even though I know for a fact that say, but thou must. Thank you, Rudy. You won't regret this. You don't take no for an answer, do you? Well, we fought together and we've accomplished a lot together. That's... Thanks, Jack. Alright, so we're back in Adelaide, which there's... An item somewhere in this castle that we missed. <laughs> Since that tragic day, Adelaide's been a very peaceful place. Somewhere in the world, things are different. Yes. What would King Adelheid do? What would Justin do? Good old Justin. Not sure what that item is. I can buy one after all. All right, and we have now finished the first half of the game. No, really, that's pretty much the halfway point. Uh, we've got 20,000 gala. I think that means we can make a donation and be extremely late poor. the tree. Also, you notice that the roofs are repaired now. It's a sign that things have changed a little. The town is finally returning to normal, but we still need more money to finish the job. Would you please donate 20,000 gala for the cause? Of course. I will be peaceful once again. Town's roofs are fixed. No more leaks. Slot to insert something here. We don't have the thing to insert, though, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. At this point, we're on our own to explore, basically. Um, yeah, we are fully healed. We need to reload ammo. We have 250 gala to our name. Let's save and probably stop for the weekend for me. I still need to figure out what I'm doing for dinner. I had a very large lunch, so I don't really need that much. Go back, Maya, for the end. All right, um, yeah. We're at the halfway point. This is going much faster than I was expecting. Uh, Wild Arms is about a 45 hour game, for reference. And we're at 32. Or, we're at 16. 
and a half. So if we finish it, it'd be 33. Way to get to the famous Armsmeister in the east. Go through the outer ocean to the east. You might find something there. So now we're starting to get the hints about, um, whatchamacallit, uh, we can go to the outer sea. Strange island that no one goes near. Northwest of Milma. Yeah, nobody could tell that this place got horribly de devastated. I want to join the defense force. I'm just talking to people. Wandering Isle. Can't afford it, Jack or a squat. My mentor was a traveling armsmeister. He was more like a dream chaser than an armsmeister, actually. He had a lab to the far east somewhere. By the way, Emma is another one of the ones that was trained by Jepet. Vortex between the inner sea and outer ocean is said to prevent monsters from entering the inner sea. There's your hint as to how to get there. What happened to the columns that were on display? Well, I just killed one of them. I'm not trying to get through. Just killed one of the golems, so they die? They also... The townspeople are smart in Adelaide. They're not complete idiots or horrible people or anything like that. Like, they hear rumors and spread them to you. They thank you for your work. It's refreshing, because in most RPGs that doesn't happen. Or in my case, there's a rebel guild who is obsessed with attaining higher magic. Because your hint is how to get better magic. Um, or as I was about to say, in my case, it's less... You know, thank you for not screwing that up, and more, uh, since this was my first day RPG, uh, why is everybody else screwing this up constantly? Yep, there's the hint that, by the way, there's guardians everywhere, and that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here. Hope you've enjoyed it. Maya hopes you enjoyed it as well. And I'll talk to you next time, Internet. Uh, yep. Bye! -bye.